From Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts with Decision 2024. The top two candidates eyeing the Republican presidential nomination with less than an hour now for you to cast your ballot in the South Carolina presidential primary. Former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley are in the Palmetto State tonight meeting with supporters to watch results come in. WIS has live team coverage ahead of the polls closing. We start our team coverage with Mary Green, who is covering the Trump campaign from their headquarters in Columbia tonight. Mary. Well, Judy, Greg, it kind of has the vibe of a normal Trump rally in here. I don't know if you can hear it, but the Suspicious Minds by Elvis is playing. That's a, a classic on the Trump campaign playlist. And really the atmosphere since we've been here this evening is similar to the atmosphere at Trump rallies and events from the campaign in recent weeks. That is that the mentality is that his win tonight here in South Carolina is a given. It's inevitable. So now both President, former President Trump down to his supporters, what they want to do tonight is win big. We're going to have a gigantic victory here in South Carolina. We're going to show crooked Joe Biden and the radical left Democrats that we are coming like a freight train in November. That was former President Donald Trump's message last night at his final rally ahead of today's primary in Rock Hill. Polls have consistently indicated he has a big lead over former Governor Nikki Haley in her home state. And the mentality from Trump down to his supporters is that his victory here is inevitable. His focus in recent rallies has been more on attacking President Joe Biden than his Republican opponent, though Trump has still taken shots at her, her campaign, and even her family. But the Trump campaign wants to send a message tonight with a big win that it's time for Haley to drop out of this race, which she has said she will not be doing right after South Carolina. Trump also boasts significant backing among South Carolina's political leaders like the governor, lieutenant governor and all but two members of the state's congressional delegation. They include Senator Tim Scott, who had been in this race before suspending his campaign and endorsing Trump and is now on the former president's VP shortlist. Tomorrow, let South Carolina send a message to all America. The Republican primary is over and Donald Trump is our nominee. And of course, looming over the former president's campaign are those state and federal indictments he faces. I asked a few Trump supporters about this yesterday before his rally in Rock Hill. They denied the legitimacy of those 90 plus criminal charges, and they told me they are not concerned at all for the potential that they could derail Trump's campaign. Reporting live in Columbia, Mary Green, WS News 10. Mary, thanks so much. And now we turn to Charleston, where Ashley Jones is live following Nikki Haley's campaign tonight. So, Ashley, what does Haley have to overcome tonight? 